Hello, welcome once again to Driving TV. This video is for all those people who are in the process of learning how to drive and are preparing for that driver's examination. This channel helps all those beginner drivers who want to get familiar with the driving and learn all there is to pass and get their driver's license. In today's video, we will go over some doubts that many of you have in regards to traffic lights how to proceed and when to do so. Also doubts when it comes to traffic lane lines, as well as traffic signs. Stay until the end so you can obtain all the information in regards to the type of lights and the type of lines in the pavement, what they mean and how to properly proceed. So let's watch this video because it's very, very important for you as a beginner driver. Everything that you will see in here, it's something that you will need in order to pass your driver's examination. So say no more and let's get started. If you are a new driver, a beginner driver, it's important that you know the meaning of the different types of lane line that is visible on the street or pavement. For instance, the white lane line, if it's continuous or discontinuous, means that all vehicles must drive in the same direction. A street or avenue with lane lines that are not continuous, broken lane lines, mean, as I mentioned, that all vehicles will be driving on the same direction, one way. Also, that vehicles are able to switch lanes as long as they are those broken lane lines. Now, when you enter an area where you suddenly see a solid white continuous line, it indicates that vehicles cannot change lanes in that zone. You can only switch lane in case of an emergency. Now, if you see yellow lane lines, then this means that vehicles move in different direction, opposite. If you find yourself in an area where the yellow lane lines are broken and not continuous, you must always drive on the right side because there will be vehicles coming from the opposite side of the street, moving in the other direction. Now, if you want to pass another vehicle, you may do so with yellow broken lane lines. You may do so very carefully when there's no other vehicles coming. So you gotta make sure that it's safe to pass. Also remember to never exceed speed limits. If these lane lines were continuous and solid, then you would not be able to change your lanes. Remember, solid lines means no passing. Let's talk about traffic street lights. How to proceed when it comes to lights. Now, if you're approaching a traffic light and it's green, it means you may continue driving without stopping. Now, if you want to make a right turn and there's a green light, then I may do so by turning my signaling lights on to the desired direction ahead of time and keeping in mind that I must be careful at all times. However, if you want to make a left turn, with a green light, then it's slightly different. If you want to make a left turn with a green light in an intersection, then you must wait patiently and carefully the right moment in order to make that turn when there's no vehicles coming your way since they have the right of way. So guys, remember, when it comes to turning left with a green light, you must be very, very careful and patient because you have to wait for no cars coming in order for you to proceed. If you're approaching a traffic light that is green but turns yellow as you're getting closer, remember what's coming next, which is red light. So you must slow down your speed and be prepared to stop. You must fully stop behind the white lane line across the street if you have a chance and it's possible to do so. Now, if you're already in the intersection 
and in the middle of passing the light turned yellow, then it's fine to proceed carefully and very slowly. So a little reminder, the traffic lights have three colors, green, yellow, which is warning you that a red light is coming, and red. The red light does not allow you to proceed. It's a full stop. If you come across a red light, you must stop and not proceed or turn to your left. You can only turn to your right with caution. And if there's no other sign that tells you that you can't turn right. Remember, you need to pay attention to this very carefully. You can turn right with a red light unless there's a sign that tells you specifically, like shown above, that you do not turn right on red. This is what you will need to keep an eye on and pay close attention to. If a driver, for example, wants to make a left turn in an intersection with a green arrow, you may turn safely. Now, if the arrow is red, it means you need to stop and wait because other vehicles have the right of way. Then the yellow color is the same. If the arrow turns yellow, then those cars already passing through the intersection may continue to do so slowly and carefully. If other cars are approaching the traffic light, those need to slow down and stop because the red light is coming. This is a warning, remember? Green, yellow warning, and red stop. Pay close attention. As a new driver, it's important that you guys learn the different types of light and the order they have. For example, if you see a green light, you need to know that after the green light, then comes the yellow light, as I previously mentioned, which is a preventative light, a warning light, basically letting you know to slow down and be careful. Also, to warn you that a red light is coming, so then you need to start slowing down and eventually come to a full stop. After comes the green light. So after the red comes the green. Again. And it's a cycle, as you may see. A lot of you new drivers send me messages expressing the concern that they have when it comes to driving past an intersection, even with a green light. You don't have to feel anxious about this. If you're passing an intersection, as you're passing and the green light turns to yellow, you have time to continue slowly, only if you're passing. But my advice to you is the following. If you're driving and approaching an intersection with lights, the best thing you can do is start slowing down when passing by, just in case the light turns and you have the opportunity to stop. Also, by slowing down, which is decreasing your speed, you become more aware of other cars and you have the opportunity to stop if you need to. One of the biggest mistakes new drivers make is that when they are approaching an intersection and the lights are green, they tend to increase the speed and go faster just so that the light won't change and catch them off guards. Big mistake. Never accelerate your vehicle when passing by the intersection lights. This could be truly dangerous since you won't have enough time to react, to stop if it turns yellow and then red. Sadly, most of the accidents caused by intersections are due to people turning with their green lights since they have right of way too. Thinking they are safe to do so, not knowing that another car accidentally took the yellow or red and were speeding and that's how accidents occur. Careful. It is best to just drive carefully, slowly, and always aware of your surroundings. There is absolutely no need to be rushing when you're driving, especially if you're new. It's very, very, very important that when you're driving, you are doing so following the speed limit and always being very mindful and careful as well as patient. So I also want to remind you guys that you are not alone driving out there. There's so many drivers that do make mistakes. And if you aren't careful, 
and driving carefully, you may find yourself involved in a car accident. And you don't want that to happen. So be very mindful and be very safe. And alrighty then, guys. This video has come to an end. What do you guys think? What did you think of this video? If you found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I truly appreciate getting feedback. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on that notification bell so you get your notification immediately after another new video. Best of luck to all of those new drivers out there. Check out all the other videos, tutorials on how to drive in my channel. Once again, thank you so much and best of luck to you.